the frick up. Steven E here, bestsellerguru.com. We all want to have a balanced lifestyle, have more equilibrium in our life, having a life that we really love, right? Well, if you get this, life will change for you. Your subconscious mind is running your whole entire life. Once you understand that, then you can start changing what's in this database here. And when you change it, I promise you, this reality will change right in front of your eyes. So the key is to eradicate, get rid of all of the old information that pretty much was a nocebo effect. Somebody told you and you believe it and you took it in and it's not working in your life. Whatever your belief system is, you learned it somewhere. Most likely it was just downloaded in the environment that you lived. And some may be true and some may be working, but if it's not working in your life, why don't you change it? It's up to you. The key is you have to go into your own laboratory of your brain, go into it and work it out. Go into the consciousness of this life that we live in and get rid of the stuff that's not working once you understand that then your whole life changes and again what's going through your mind right now write it down the next time you're standing in a line and you're anxious you're impatient and you want to get out of there and you start calling the person oh he's an idiot she's an idiot let's go faster that's all the stuff that is regurgitating out of your database so start looking at that. And once you start changing the subconscious mind, because the subconscious mind is the autopilot of you. And what happens if you have coherence, congruency between your subconscious and your conscious mind, then your life will start manifesting and you become the architect of this life. And what I mean by that, if you say, oh, I wanna be a millionaire, and the database in your brain and the subconscious mind says, no, you're not, you can never do that. It can never happen. So you have to have that coherency between both of them where the subconscious mind and the conscious mind kind of becomes one. And that's when you realize that once you learn that, then your whole life changes. So what kind of beliefs are you believing and who taught you the beliefs in the first place? Are they true? If you grew up in Tibet, would you have a completely, complete different mindset if you grew up in say California? Or if you grew up in Switzerland, would you have a different mindset? Probably you would. So whose database is it? Is it other people's information that you're going by that's running this world? Basically, we always have a choice. Each moment we have this parallel reality. Each moment we could choose which way to go. We don't have a choice in life where an earthquake could happen right now making this video, a tornado could come. Uh, it, things happen on the outside, but we do have a choice. When it comes in, what are we doing? If we have a fearful mind, we're probably gonna retaliate. We're gonna, we're gonna fight, we're gonna freeze. But once you learn that the environment out here, we have to control it here. And once you do that, then you start changing your whole entire life. So think about it. The next time you're standing in line or even this video, what's in your mind right now? So the key is you start changing the database, you start changing the subconscious mind and your reality will change one step at a time. So it goes deeper in this. This is a short video, but look into that because you could have anything that you want in this lifetime and live a prosperous life. Stephen E here, bestsellerguru.com. If you have a book, I'd love to work with you. Go to bestsellerguru.com and let's set up a time so we could talk and let's get your information out to the world. Bye-bye.